I just got a really funny message from Lucy. <laughs> what good timing. Um, it's Monday. It's lunchtime. I actually overslept this morning and had just enough time to like slap my hair up and put a sweater on and get ready for work. So Zach actually has the day off today. So um, <clears throat> that's not really relevant to filming. Um, but it's kind of nice to like not be alone in this house all day even though I'm working, but, um, we got to have breakfast together, which is something that we don't always do during the week. And so that was really good, but it's lunchtime now and I haven't opened my advent for the day. So I figured I would do that really quickly here. It is day 13 and today's colorway is gingerbread cookie. So I'm guessing that this is going to be like tan, like light brown, maybe some speckles. I don't know. Um, or like, a, well, maybe not tan. Maybe it's going to be like a creamy tan brown. I don't know. That's, that's my guess. Oh. Wow, this is beautiful. What a pretty colorway. I just think Natalie has done a fabulous job with her advent. This is my first year getting it, but I really hope she decides to do one next year because I definitely will be purchasing it again. It's like this really beautiful, like golden tone. And it looks like I've got some, a couple of green speckles in mine over here. I'm wondering if there's maybe like any other colors hiding. I see some more green. There's a little bit of yellow. There's a little bit of red. This is beautiful. Wow. I can't wait to put this in. I'm really behind. I don't think I have any of my advent in here with me. I don't. I'll have to show you a little bit later. Um, my, I have one sock ready for the heel and I could get the other sock ready for the heel, but then I'm worried that if I don't do the heels immediately, I won't have vanilla knitting. So I kind of left it alone. I actually also worked a little bit on Zach's DK sock. So I'm hoping that I can plow through the heels, um, maybe at least one heel tonight and just get through it. So that way I have some vanilla knitting the next couple of days and then I'll pick up and do the other heel tomorrow because those always take me a really long time I shouldn't say a really long time I don't think I've ever timed myself but it'd be interesting to see other than that it's just a regular schmegular Monday over here um like I said I had some breakfast with Zach this morning I had a cup of tea I had some coffee that I feel like did nothing for me and now I am actually eating some mint dark chocolate. Um, it's a little bit of an afternoon treat to pick me up. That's all that's going on. Nothing exciting. Although I just realized I was editing the vlog this morning. And by the time I finished it, I'm like, it was like six minutes. I'm like, why is this so short? And I was like, well, you know, I guess, you know, we did a lot of running around yesterday. We went to Costco. We went to his parents' house again, his Zach's parents' house again. Um, we did some Christmas shopping. Um, just like a lot of running around. So I didn't really film a ton. I did some car knitting. So I showed that. And then we got home and I watched a musical, half of a musical um, after dinner. I did a bunch of laundry. Like it was not very like vlog worthy day. So I was like, I guess I just didn't vlog a lot. And then I uploaded the video and I was like, well, I guess that's it. And, um, I went back through my phone to delete the videos that I didn't need anymore. And I realized I forgot to put in the first half of my donut making. I showed you like 
the um like the filling making and the frying and like the stuffing of them and the eating <laughs> but I didn't even talk about what I was doing I just completely forgot so I guess in this video I guess I could do it now I guess right now I'm gonna insert the clips that I forgot and that shows me discovering my dough after it rose overnight in the fridge and rolling the balls out and letting them rise again I don't know what else I missed but um oh I fixed my my lumpy filling I didn't show that Christina what the heck I don't know what I was thinking I guess I was just tired and flustered this morning um because I overslept by a lot and anyway so I guess I'll slip that in here but um I don't know check out Lucy's channel her donuts look delicious she actually added some Oreo filling to hers and man they were so good honestly I think it's the best thing I've ever baked I don't really think I've ever made donuts before um not like that and I usually have a lot of trouble when I'm baking making a really good dough like pizza dough two thumbs down every time I try to make it I've tried bread a couple of times before and it always comes out looking nice but it's very dense like I don't let it like rise long enough or something I don't really know but these donuts were perfect. They were perfect. So I'm so proud of myself. It was well worth the three day excursion that I took, but um, definitely gonna have to do a lot more life planning if I decide to make them ever again, because I kind of felt like three days of my life revolved around what was I doing with these donuts? <laughs> Anyway, it was a really great experience. It was super fun, and I hope someday that Lucy and I can actually eat them together. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Enjoy the donut footage. out of bed to roll my donuts so that they can rise for another four hours <laughs> it's about 8 30 so it looks like um, I'm gonna be having like afternoon donuts but that's okay so um, the next step is to roll them out into 10 donut balls and um, put them on a floured surface and cover them and let them rise so that's what we're about to do Look out loose, because my dough is looking super good. Hopefully better than yours. <laughs> looked a little like lumpy and I did some writing I was preparing to remake it because I actually called my mom and my sister who used to bake donuts professionally and they said that if it tasted fine it was probably fine um, so I was just gonna keep it but then I was reading that if it's a little bit lumpy you should be able to take an immersion blender, like a stick hand blender, and blend it up in five second increments, and then it should just break up the lumps and give you the custard uh, texture that you're looking for. So I'm gonna try that and see if it works. Look at this texture. It's so much better. <laughs> <laughs> 